And there's the little guys looking to rip it up. Go and get a Chucky autograph, put it in their bedroom. Bro, dumb. You gotta be quiet. I wonder where he's got the noisy bit from. Yeah. His mum, right? From his mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Yeah. Um, Fink, how was that? Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, all went pretty smooth. Uh, yeah, ended up fifth, but would have liked to have been a little bit higher up, but. Had the speed. Yeah. Had the speed, but made a few little silly mistakes and. Crashed a couple of times on the way home and then, yeah, just we'll go back next year and try to improve and try to get on that podium. Wooders and quitters, right? Yep. It should have, would have, could have, could have done a million things a different way, but it is what it is. Now we'll just aim to improve on next year. If, I, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. That's exactly How right. is Nick going, more importantly, because he got a bit banged up? Yeah, he had a big one up there. Um, He's all right, he's just got cleared to say the bruising on his brain had gone away and now it's just recovering on his lung that he uh, tore. So that's just a slow progress now and once he's back full fitness, he'll be all right. It'd be fascinating doing an NMRI on that brain, I think, mate. <laughs> Wouldn't be much between the ears. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but now that you have. Mate, Hatter, this is obviously your hometown joint. This is the big deal for you. Um, what's your best result at Hatter? Uh, 13th, I think. Um, yeah, I've only really done two senior hatters. I've sat out most because of the how close they are together. It's it's quite difficult to, yep. to do both at 110%. Yep. Um, and that's what it requires. It does require that, and it's quite... I only get disappointed if I come and try to half-heart do it. Yep. And even this year, it's been a little bit of a rush because between Fink and then to Dar and then I go to Darwin with Josh for the ASBK. Oh, yeah. So I've only been home for less than a week and a half between the two events. Yes. So to prepare properly for them, it's not... Not ideal. Not ideal, but I think we're in an okay situation and we'll just see how we go Sunday. Absolutely, and that's all you can do. Um, I was talking to Cal Norton. He said to me he thinks that Fink is tougher on your brain because you're like mentally worn out at the end of it, whereas Hatter is tougher on your body. Is that strange? No, it's not. He's 100% correct there because why it's more physical, tough on your brain up at Fink is because when you're riding along, you really don't see anyone. So it's hard to stay focused and yep. concentrated on what you're doing. But Hatter is more physical because obviously the track's smaller. So many bikes going around it, you've got to deal with the lap riders, everything. And it's just the sand. You're not moving quite as fast through the sand. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, you just, <laughs> uh, how, how mentally tough are these guys on you, mate? Because they're wide open. They're just as tough. <laughs> Good luck this weekend. What's the ambition? Ah, uh, just really, I want to get in the top twenty and keep away from there. Get after it, mate. Too easy. Thank Good you. luck with these two and three because the other one's inside. Yeah. Good to have you back home, mate. No, thank you.